Hello my friend, welcome. So, IBPS SOIT officer roadmap. Uh, so, every year we are having the examination of IBPS. So, how we can prepare or what is the exam, what is the syllabus. So, everything I am going to discuss in this video. So, first we are having this exam. So, in that we are having the pre-exam. Pre-ke aapke we are having the three parts over here. Reasoning, quant and reasoning. Then after that once you have cleared the sectional cutoff as well as overall cutoff you are really eligible into mains exam then once you have uh, scored a very good number then you are eligible for the interview then there will be a you can say final merit list by including the mains and interview so main weightage is 80 ratio and the interview weightage is 20 ratio then moving ahead then we are having this is the cutoff trend for the pre and the mains exam so from which you can have an idea so as you can see the IT office of the cutoff uh, in uh, 2024 it is the lowest cutoff and uh, the lowest cutoff of mains examination is uh, 2021 that is uh, 10.50 and the highest cutoff in the last four years we can see 16.50 so the mains cutoff is keep on increasing then we are having the real game so the real game play when we are having the interview and mains so as you can see the cutoff of the real game that include your mains which is having the ratio of 80 and which interview which is having the ratio of 20 so the total marks it is you can say 100 marks so out of 100 what is the overall cutoff for the general so as we can see this is the overall cutoff and the main game play here only so you need to score maximum marks in the mains as well as try to score very good marks in interview so in this examination we are having the list of bank so which bank you want to put on your first preference second preference and third so for this i already made a video so you can watch that video re regarding your bank preference and order okay then we are having the salary so your basic pay is 48 480 and uh, your you can say gross will be near to 80k then we are having the uh, tax uh, deduction nps or any union fees or any loan that you have taken then you are going to have the enhanced salary so here we are having the pre-exam in the pre-exam we are having english reasoning and uh, say quant for the it then in that we have 50 50, 50 marks so total is 150 and here reasoning is having half marks so it is one question is of half marks and the reasoning and quant which is going to have the full marks so the total marks are 125 so you need to clear the sectional cutoff so as you can see this is the total marks and we are having the sectional cutoff as well so you need to clear the sectional cutoff as well as the overall cutoff then only you will be eligible for the mains exam now we are having the study plan so free or paid which is good for you that uh, you need to decide by own so i will just explain what are the pro and cons of both okay so in free uh, the best you can take the example of youtube so on the youtube you can go and search like this i have taken ibps so reasoning then you are going to have so many youtubers from which you can follow and uh, you can learn from that teacher and uh, there are so many uh, telegram uh, channels which also sell uh, pirated pdfs and video that you can join on your risk it is your risk and uh, then we are having some free website which give very very good content so that also you can also join then we are having the books also so in the market also you can buy the book of bank PO so SBI PO or ABPS PO that book you can buy so from that also you can study it is up to you then we are having the paid so in the pre you need to search everything on any resource maybe it's a website or book or YouTube so every topic you need to search you need to watch videos and you need to write the notes maybe sometime you will get the content what you are desiring for sometime you will not get the content so there is a wastage of time also in the paid so paid course is like you can go with your favorite teacher so in that there is a risk also so maybe uh, you just believe and you just pay and you get whatever the thing you watch on the youtube so the in i have observed that some teachers can say they upload the same video in the paid course which is available on the youtube so or we can say the the content on youtube is good but the uh, content of level of content is not good in the paid or the thing that you are going to look in the paid and that thing you are not uh, unable to find so before paying anything any to any teacher so you should 
have a one to one consult with the teacher not to a sales respective or not to any uh, person the teacher you like just have one to one word with the teacher if he is available then you can ask whatever doubt you are having because it is your money and then <laughs> you can buy so what are the main advantage of paid course that you are going to get everything in under one place you don't need to look here and there so it will waste uh, it will save your time so in paid uh, this is the thing that you are going to get so everything will be there in a order so uh, there is a structure uh, curriculum that you are going to get so from that you can go or you can go with the self study it is up to you but in both you need to study without study you will not get the job okay so this is the you can say minimum cut off for the you can say it office or agriculture so as you can see the mains cut off last year and from that also you can have an idea what was the cut off okay and uh, then uh, what is the syllabus so if i uh, talk about the syllabus of reasoning quant and english so this is the syllabus for reasoning quant and english so then if you want you can take a screenshot i also take this screenshot from the uh, uh, website so you can also take this screenshot so this is the you can say bank pure syllabus so as the syllabus is not mentioned in anywhere in the bps website so every website or any other youtuber or teacher they just observe the pattern from the pattern only they are going to make the syllabus and from that syllabus the asked question they will add the uh, topics into the syllabus so that in the upcoming exam you can also cover that topic also so the syllabus is vast then we are having the teacher so the teachers which i have studied and which i like so these are the teacher maybe you know so in your opinion which is your favorite teacher you can also type in the comment section which whichever teacher is your favorite teacher then uh, for the it we are having these are the youtubers which are available you can go with them also so who is your favorite teacher so my favorite teacher was uh, ravindra sir in my btag i used to follow him uh, and then after my btag during my gate also i follow and then we are having this sir abdul sir so these are two my favorite teacher and also these also teachers are good every teacher is good no teacher is bad so whichever teacher you like it is a good teacher then what is the syllabus of the mains exam so we are having the it what is the syllabus of this it so so this is the syllabus of it from my experience which i have analyzed the paper of the last 5 year and from my analysis the paper which i can show you this is the syllabus so syllabus is very very vast so complete operating system including your dialog and uh, transaction and memory management now your you can say complete database complete networking including your virtual circuit routing also then we are in the noisy noise challenge then ethernet your lan your atm your uh, when then we are having the icmp igmp your layers uh, transport layer your qos and the switches are there then we are having the data structure complete data structure dsa so examiner can ask also ask anything so your red black tree also is very important b tree is also important then we are having the some algorithms like uh, searching in that we are having shorting insertion quick merge that also you can go then we are in some programming language c c++ java php and uh, python which i recommend you you to you need to cover all five language because some questions are you are going to see as it is in the examination so we are in the oops concept complete oops concept you need to go with including your templates and exception handling then we are in the some web programming also so that is also important so one or two question you are going to see from the web programming also so here one thing is missing css so css is also important and then we are having the uh, compiler design so last to last year they haven't asked any question but sometime they ask one or two question so if you are from ec then it is a good thing for you but uh, for css student if you want you can skip it is up to you now we are having the software engineering complete software engineering including your srs and your extreme programming which is also important from exam point of view then we are in the qs mc uh, quality factor which is also important from exam point of view then we are in the kokomo model your uh, theory plus numerical it is also important
then we are having the reuse and software reinstall then we are having some topics called AIML we can say web DNS pop GMP CDMA your gateway protocols your uh, mobile uh, your wireless transmission LAN uh, GPRS like this then we are having the cloud so cloud is also important and then we are having something that I want to highlight here which are the very very important topic that is uh, Python Java Linux uh, command and network security these are the very very vital I can say from exam point of view then uh, if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section of the video and uh, this is the complete roadmap for this SO IT officer syllabus is very vast so it is up to you how you are going to prepare so if you have any doubt you can join our uh, telegram group also so the group url is also mentioned in the description of the video so that video also you can join if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section of the video i would be very happy to reply you